around you. And they use it as a baby machine. They really do. Okay, they know that the power you have when you're young and you're tender and you're untouched, that they want to take that away from you to, to keep you in bondage so that they can use you whatever time and then they leave you to go to someone else. It, it's a game. So don't be the game for them because you're beyond that. You've been taught in the street. I wish I was in here to be taught self-confidence, to have self high self-esteem. Because they use, they spot you for a moment. That's always telling me. When you have that sadness on you, they spot you. And they can use it because they know you're weak. And the little thing that, what you're looking for is that affection, that love that you never got at home. It's what you're looking for. So when they come up to you, when they come to you, tell you all these sweet things, and they're kiss you or wherever, and you feel, you feel that, that emotion, then you, you fall into the prey and okay, he loves me. No, he doesn't. He just wants to take your power away from you. That happened to me. I had four children. And as Tasha was talking about, it's totally different. Even though the man was with me at the time, when the Lord told him, to hold your body, and I did not hold my body, and I ended up pregnant in the church, I had that guilt until he was about two years old. That guilt ate me up. I never felt like I'm worthy to be in the church carrying that baby. So it was a guilt, and it, it, it just stomps on you and push you down more and more and more, and you just get into that depression state. So Tasha is telling you the real deal. When you come in here and you you, you could you could face everyone, and it's like it's a, a different. It's like if you're a queen walking in here, pregnant, knowing that you are married and have a person in the Lord. We're both safe together. That's the best feeling that you could ever have. The best feeling. You are proud. You are someone special, and you feel it. You walk it, and you act it. So with that is the greatest blessing. Use me as an example. I had no joy. I was dry as a bone. But even though the man was with me, but I was married, and I knew it was wrong. It didn't feel right. Now I am married. It's so clean. It's pure. You can hold your head up high. You can, people can look at you. You are. It's something that you want the whole world to know that it's. It's a pre like prestige thing to be married. It, it's very, very different. I was married in the world, but it's not the same. Without Jesus, it's not the same. It, it's a fulfillment. You get joy, you have peace, you have contentment, you, you, you have pride. It's everything that you want that pastor's teaching us. It's, a, it's so real, and I had to learn it because I experience it now, being married in the Lord. Go ahead on. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead.